Okay, so I've made it to the birthing area. And, uh, this is my bunk. I'm on the bottom floor. Brian's over there. Hey. And, uh, Jeff's gonna be in, uh, this top one over here. Bob fell overboard already. Yeah, yep. overboard. I, I don't know where Bob went. So, let's see what, uh, Jeff has for storage over here. Yeah, he's gonna fill it up. I'm going to fill it up for sure. Yep. There's no doubt. And, uh, yeah, Brian's gonna fill his up too. Sleeping with some of my stuff, I think. Big chest. Uh oh, oh you're, space. <laughs> you're in trouble. Okay, if you're ever wondering what it looks like inside a Navy bunk, you're looking inside one right now. Okay, what I have right here is some ventilation. It's like it's ventilation on an airplane. So, the structure right here is a ventilation duct and you can open and close this by turning around a little inset sphere. And you can also point in a direction. Mine's right now pointed in that direction and it's partially open. And you might see a box right here. That box is for emergencies. Inside that box is a self-contained self-rescue device. Um, in case of smoke and fire, you go open that box, and inside that box is another box. And you can open that box, and um, uh, it will have a mouthpiece, a small little box-like device with a mouthpiece, and a nose clip. Use a nose clip. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth, pull a cord, and you have air for about 10 minutes to save yourself in a very smoky compartment. And you can tell where my feet are, but there it's almost going all the way to the very end of the bunk. And I've got a little bit of headroom over here, uh, back at my head. I have like a magazine rack to store. Uh, you know, a few loose odds and ends. I've got my IDs and my FOD pouch there, and um, my prescription lenses, and a few things in the overhead. You have a fluorescent light for reading. But I tried to read a book here, and the book is actually bumping into the overhead already. For an idea of how much size we're talking about here, I'll push my curtain back. And there's my bunkmate, Jeff, who hasn't made his bed over there, and that's how much space he has. And he's across the way from me. And if you look in this space, across the way there are four going high over here. There are three going up over there. So in this space right here, we have also three. So we have three, four, three, and three. Yep, not a lot of space.